On the move. On the move. I said on the move. Long live revolution. Long live John Africa. When I was asked to speak here today, Salim said, Mike, speak about never giving up. He said, we've come so far, you got your parents out, move nine out, and other people out. And I said, no problem. What we are seeing here in this country is a rise of true power. When George Floyd was killed, and Breonna Taylor was killed, and we are seeing so many others like Rashard Brooks, we are seeing these police tase pregnant women in their stomachs. We are seeing these crazy psychos destroy our brothers and sisters. And we are seeing them drag them down hallways. We are seeing them drag them across streets, kneel on their necks until they suffocate. We are watching them do what they do. Criminals. They are criminals. They are violent and they are trained to be this way. They are trained by the system because the original reason for police was to be slave catchers. Tell the truth. They do not like black people. Tell they the do truth. not care about black people. Their job is not to preserve the life of black people. Right. Their job is to control black people so that they can continue to enslave us so that we support the system and keep the system going. That's right. And as long as we, as long as we, as people, support the system, the system will continue to do these things that they're doing. We have to extract our resources. We have to extract our support from the system so that the knees of the system will be cut and it will buckle and fall. And when it comes to these police, it is a very simple way to deal with these police. It is a very simple way to deal with the people that are on the side of the police and on the side of the system. It's a very simple way. The same way you treat a bully. When a bully is targeting people, the only way is to stand up and fight back. You must stand up and fight back. With these uprisings, that we are seeing around the world. We are watching history live. The people are rising up and they are fighting back and they are taking control of their own power and they are using it to fight this system. And this is why the changes are being made. This system will not make a change unless they are pressured to make a change. And we must keep the pressure on this system. This is the only way that we will effectively make a sustained change. We have watched Donald Trump make statements about what needs to be done and what he's going to do. And none of what he says that he's going to do is in the interest of the people. Donald Trump was saying things like, we need more people like Frank Rizzo. When the people saw the statue of Frank Rizzo come down, we watched that victory. And it made me think of a very special moment in this movement. There is a person that has been leading the Mumia movement since Mumia has been in prison. This person, you may have heard her name before. Her name is Pam Africa. Do y'all know Pam Africa? We were at a demonstration at City Hall. We were marching, protesting, 
and the, the drums were going and the people were chanting and while we were in the streets we were passing by a building that was under construction and the construction workers did not like the fact that we were protesting and they began to throw things out of the building at us and Pam Africa for the safety of the protesters she halted the march and she instructed that no one will pass this busy center city street until the construction workers came down out of the building on the ground so that the people could pass safely. And the, the police and the other bystanders that were not with us began to say things like, these are union workers making union wages and they are not going to stop their union job for you. And Pam Africa said, well, they don't have to do any of that. But we will stand here and tie up traffic and stay in these streets until they do. And before you knew it, every single one of those union jobs or union workers or making those union checks and those union wages were coming down those stairs and down those elevators and they stood on the street before we took one single step forward. That's right. And as I watched this, I'm thinking about the Rizzo stat uh, when I saw the Rizzo statue, I'm thinking about Pam Africa. And I thought the chant that she gave us to chant was, bring them down. 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 And we brought Rizzo down. It is important for us to continue the fight, continue the movement. It took a lot of years of work and dedication, but we have seen success. I was born in prison in 1978 following attack from the police, and after 40 years of work, my mother and my father and all of the Move 9 members are home. We shall never give up the fight. We shall continue to fight the system, and we will fight back until we get justice for all political prisoners. On the move, long live revolution. Long live John Africa.